China's recent approval of a groundbreaking deep-sea research facility, often referred to as a deep-water space station, marks a significant leap in both scientific exploration and strategic maritime capabilities. Anchored 2,000 meters 6, feet, beneath the surface of the South China Sea, a region fraught with geopolitical tension and overlapping territorial claims, this underwater installation represents one of the most ambitious and technologically complex projects of its kind. Scheduled for operation by 2030, the station will serve as a hub for studying methane-rich cold seep ecosystems, monitoring tectonic activity, and exploring vast reserves of rare minerals and energy resources like methane hydrates, often called flammable ice. While the facility is framed as a scientific endeavor, its implications extend far beyond marine biology and geology. In the context of modern naval warfare, the Deepwater Space Station underscores China's growing ambition to project power and assert dominance in contested waters. By establishing a permanent human presence in one of the world's most strategically vital regions, Beijing not only advances its scientific leadership but also enhances its ability to monitor and control critical undersea infrastructure, such as fiber optic cables and seabed resource deposits. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support, let's continue. This development raises important questions about the intersection of science, geopolitics, and military strategy. The station's advanced surveillance grid, which integrates unmanned submersibles, surface ships, and seabed observatories, could provide China with unparalleled situational awareness in the South China Sea. Furthermore, the facility's potential dual-use applications, such as supporting undersea operations or safeguarding against foreign incursions, highlight the blurred lines between civilian research and military utility in an era of intensifying great power competition. As global powers increasingly vie for influence in the maritime domain, China's deepwater space station signals a pivotal moment in the race for undersea supremacy. Its deployment could redefine the balance of power in the South China Sea, offering Beijing new tools to bolster its territorial claims while advancing its technological edge in deep-sea exploration and defense. Against this backdrop, the station's significance extends beyond its scientific mission, serving as a focal point for understanding the evolving dynamics of modern naval warfare and the role of cutting-edge technology in shaping the future of maritime security. Challenges Faced by Naval Powers in Modern Warfare 1. Technological Advancements and Asymmetric Threats The rise of hypersonic missiles, unmanned underwater vehicles, UUVs, and cyber capabilities has created new vulnerabilities for traditional naval forces. These technologies can outpace or bypass conventional defenses, forcing navies to adapt quickly. Smaller nations are non-state actors equipped with drones, swarm tactics, or anti-access, area denial, A2, AD, systems can challenge larger naval powers, leveling the playing field in unexpected ways. 2. Undersea Domain Complexity the increasing sophistication and stealth of submarines make them harder to detect and counter, complicating anti-submarine warfare ASW. Protecting undersea cables, pipelines, and energy resources from sabotage or espionage has become a top priority, as these assets are vital for global communication and trade. 3. Geopolitical tensions in contested waters. Strategic waterways like the South China Sea, Arctic, and Persian Gulf are hotspots for disputes over territorial claims and access to resources, requiring navies to balance diplomacy with deterrence. Activities such as illegal fishing fleets, maritime militia operations, and low-intensity confrontations blur the lines between peace and war, challenging traditional rules of engagement. 4. Environmental and Logistical Constraints Operating in deep-sea environments, polar regions, or areas prone to natural disasters poses significant logistical and operational challenges. Modern navies must also address environmental impacts, including fuel consumption, sonar effects on marine life, and pollution risks. How traditional naval strategies are evolving 1. Integration of multi-domain operations. Navies are shifting from single-domain, surface, air, 
or subsurface, strategies to integrated multi-domain approaches that combine space-based surveillance, cyber operations, and undersea dominance. For example, satellites and AI-driven analytics now play critical roles in tracking enemy movements and coordinating responses. 2. Emphasis on unmanned systems. The deployment of autonomous vessels, drones, and UUVs reduces human risk while expanding operational reach. These systems can perform tasks such as mine clearance, reconnaissance, and even offensive operations without direct human intervention. 3. Focus on undersea superiority. With growing reliance on undersea infrastructure, navies are investing heavily in ASW capabilities, seabed mapping, and monitoring networks. Facilities like China's planned Deepwater Space Station exemplify efforts to establish persistent undersea presence and control. 4. Adaptation to Gray Zone Tactics Traditional blue water strategies focused on high-intensity conflict are giving way to hybrid approaches that address gray zone activities. This includes using Coast Guard vessels, maritime militias, and diplomatic tools alongside conventional naval forces. 5. Leveraging dual-use technologies, civilian research initiatives, such as deep-sea exploration and resource extraction, often serve dual military purposes. Nations are increasingly leveraging scientific advancements to enhance their strategic capabilities, blurring the line between civilian and military applications. 6. Alliances and partnerships. Recognizing the limitations of unilateral action, naval powers are strengthening alliances through joint exercises, intelligence sharing, and coordinated patrols. Initiatives like the Quad, US, Japan, India, Australia, highlight collaborative efforts to counterbalance rising regional threats. 7. Cybersecurity and Information Warfare. As navies become more reliant on digital systems, protecting against cyber attacks and misinformation campaigns has become a cornerstone of modern strategy. Ensuring secure communications and resilient command structures is essential for maintaining operational effectiveness. 8. Sustainable Naval Practices. In response to environmental concerns, some navies are adopting greener technologies, such as biofuels, electric propulsion systems, and reduced emission designs, aligning military objectives with global sustainability goals. Capabilities of China's Deepwater Space Station China's planned Deepwater Space Station represents a leap forward in undersea exploration and strategic operations. Anchored 2,000 meters 6, feet, beneath the surface of the South China Sea, this facility is designed to push the boundaries of human endurance and technological innovation in one of the most extreme environments on Earth. Here are its key capabilities, technological advancements, and how it integrates with naval operations. Technological Advancements A. Long-term human presence. The station will accommodate up to six scientists for missions lasting up to a month, enabling sustained human activity in an otherwise inaccessible environment. This capability allows for real-time decision-making, experimentation, and adjustments that AI or robotic systems cannot yet fully replicate. Advanced life support systems will provide oxygen, regulate pressure, and manage waste, ensuring survivability in the harsh deep-sea conditions. B. Methane Hydrate Exploration One of the station's primary scientific objectives is studying methane hydrates, vast reserves of flammable ice found in cold seep ecosystems. These deposits hold immense energy potential, estimated at 70 billion tons in the South China Sea alone equivalent to half of China's proven oil and gas reserves. Cutting-edge drilling tools and monitoring equipment will allow researchers to safely extract and analyze these resources, advancing China's energy security. C. Surveillance and monitoring. The station will feature state-of-the-art sensors to track methane fluxes, tectonic activity, and ecological shifts. This data can be used for both scientific research and strategic purposes, such as identifying seismic risks or detecting foreign submarines. Integration with unmanned submersibles, surface ships, and seabed observatories will create a four-dimensional surveillance grid, enhancing situational awareness across vast underwater territories. D. Dual-use technologies. While framed as a civilian research project, the station's technologies have clear military applications. For example, underwater drones deployed from the station could map seabed topography, locate enemy assets, or protect critical infrastructure like fiber-optic cables. 
Real-time communication systems may enable coordination with naval forces during crises. E. Power source. Although details remain classified, experts speculate the station might rely on advanced nuclear reactors or other compact, high-energy power sources. Such systems would ensure continuous operation in remote locations where traditional energy supplies are unavailable. Integration with naval operations. A. Enhancing maritime domain awareness. The Deepwater Space Station will serve as a hub for monitoring activities in the South China Sea, providing unparalleled visibility into one of the world's busiest maritime regions. By combining passive sonar arrays, hydrophones, and autonomous vehicles, the station can detect and track foreign submarines, ships, and even underwater drones. This capability aligns with China's broader anti-access, area denial, A2, AD, strategy, which seeks to deny adversaries access to contested waters while maintaining Beijing's dominance. B. Supporting submarine operations. The station's proximity to key shipping lanes and choke points makes it a valuable asset for coordinating submarine deployments. It could act as a refueling or resupply point for manned or unmanned submarines operating in the region. Additionally, the station's ability to monitor tectonic activity and ocean currents could help optimize navigation routes and improve stealth tactics for Chinese submarines. C. Protecting critical infrastructure. The South China Sea hosts thousands of kilometers of undersea cables carrying global internet traffic and financial transactions. The station's surveillance grid could safeguard these vital links against sabotage, espionage, or natural disasters. Similarly, it could oversee China's growing network of seabed pipelines and resource extraction sites, ensuring their security and uninterrupted operation. D. Bolstering territorial claims. Strategically positioned within disputed waters, the station reinforces China's territorial assertions in the South China Sea. Its presence underscores Beijing's commitment to asserting sovereignty over the region, much like Russia's use of Arctic seabed surveys to justify continental shelf expansion claims. E. Enabling joint operations. The station is designed to work closely with other components of China's maritime infrastructure, including unmanned systems, autonomous underwater vehicles, AUVs, and remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, can extend the station's reach, conducting reconnaissance or deploying countermeasures without risking human lives. Surface fleets. Coordination with surface ships ensures rapid response to emerging threats or emergencies. Seabed observatories. Fixed installations on the ocean floor complement the station's mobile capabilities, creating a layered defense system. F. Advancing military science. The station provides a unique platform for testing new technologies under real-world conditions. For instance, experimental materials and designs can be evaluated for durability in high-pressure, corrosive environments. New methods for underwater communication and navigation can be refined, improving the effectiveness of future naval operations. The South China Sea, one of the world's most contested maritime regions, serves as a compelling case study for how China's new deepwater space station could fundamentally alter the dynamics of naval confrontations and strategies. This semi-enclosed body of water is not only a critical artery for global trade, carrying an estimated $3.4 trillion in goods annually, but also a treasure trove of natural resources, including oil, gas, rare minerals, and methane hydrates. It is also a flashpoint for territorial disputes involving multiple nations, including the Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia, and the United States. The Deepwater Space Station acts as a permanent eye in the abyss, equipped with advanced sonar arrays, hydrophones, and autonomous underwater vehicles AUVs. These systems detect and track foreign submarines entering the area long before they approach Chinese waters. For example, if a U.S. Virginia-class submarine attempts to conduct reconnaissance near disputed islands, the station's sensors identify its acoustic signature and relay the information to nearby Chinese forces. This early warning capability allows Beijing to deploy countermeasures, such as decoys, electronic jamming, or even preemptive strikes using unmanned submersibles. Recognizing the strategic importance of undersea cables, which carry 95% of global internet traffic, the coalition considers sabotaging key communication links to disrupt China's economy and military coordination. However, the Deepwater Space Station's surveillance grid identifies suspicious activity around these cables. 
Autonomous drones dispatched from the station intercept and neutralize the threat, preventing catastrophic damage to both civilian and military communications. Meanwhile, China uses the incident to justify further militarization of the region, reinforcing its narrative of defending sovereignty against external aggression. As part of the conflict, the coalition seeks to block China's access to methane hydrate deposits, a potential energy bonanza worth trillions of dollars. Using advanced drilling tools aboard the Deepwater Space Station, Chinese scientists accelerate extraction efforts while maintaining constant monitoring of the surrounding area. When rival vessels attempt to disrupt operations, the station coordinates with nearby surface ships and submarines to establish a protective perimeter. The integration of manned and unmanned systems creates a layered defense network that deters incursions without escalating to full-scale war. The mere presence of the Deepwater Space Station serves as a psychological deterrent, signaling China's resolve and technological superiority. Other nations may hesitate to challenge Beijing directly, knowing that any hostile action risks triggering a swift and overwhelming response. Moreover, the station's dual-use nature blurs the line between civilian and military applications, complicating diplomatic efforts to isolate China internationally. Allies of the coalition struggle to frame their actions as purely defensive when faced with accusations of targeting scientific research. The deployment of China's deepwater space station marks a paradigm shift in modern naval warfare. By establishing a permanent human presence in the abyssal depths, Beijing gains unparalleled advantages in surveillance, resource exploitation, and undersea dominance. This facility not only enhances China's ability to project power but also challenges rival nations to adapt their strategies and technologies to counteract its influence. In an era of intensifying great power competition, the station exemplifies how mastering the undersea domain has become a cornerstone of maritime security and geopolitical strategy. Its potential to reshape regional dynamics, redefine rules of engagement, and amplify China's strategic leverage makes it a pivotal development in the evolution of naval warfare. As global powers grapple with the implications of this innovation, the Deepwater Space Station stands as a testament to the growing importance of science, technology, and innovation in securing dominance beneath the waves. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's technology advancements and developments. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in.